After 44 years, India has a medal in long jump in the Commonwealth Games and the winner is with us, uh, Sri Shankar Murli. And it is the biggest medal, in fact, the silver medal. But winning this medal wasn't easy. The conditions were challenging. You leaped 8.8. .8. The bronze uh, gold medalist also leaped 8.08. .08. Tell us, what was the difference? Uh, actually, uh, I'm happy to win. A, first of all, I'm really happy to win a silver medal for my country. This, this silver medal really means a lot to me because I really had a lot of setbacks in the previous time, previous years. Uh, with all the injuries, with all COVID related issues, but I'm really happy to win the silver medal for the country. Today was really a challenging day. The, the temperature, the conditions was not quite favorable for the athletes. We had like huge headwinds blowing due to the climate. The temperature was cool because it's evening in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have been coming after world championships, a lot of travel, a lot of journey. And it was quite a draining past one month for us. We have been in Sula Vista, then we went to Oregon, then we came to Birmingham. So quite a big travel. But I'm happy that finally I was able to win a medal for my country. Just tell us what, what was the difference between you and the gold medalist? Both had the same uh, score on the board. Actually, when both both the jumpers have same kind of distance on the board, uh, the decisive factor is the second best jump, which of course he had like 794, which he had in the first attempt. And I'm a bit disappointed that I had a good jump in the fourth round, but it was fouled by sliders of the margin. I had a 0.3 millimeter, like 3 millimeter foul at World Championship. But this was like one millimeter. It was quite astonishing. I couldn't just believe it. I was, I was asking the official like, why couldn't, why, why did you call this a foul? No mercy at all. But it sport, it part of it's part but, of. But the it game. looked like it would have been 8.15 or something like that. Isn't it, it was a big jump. I, I literally raised my hand. The team was really like excited. But when it was like a foul attempt, like everyone was disappointed. But I knew that I could do in the last jump. That's what my father said in the last jump when he came to me and said. You are able to do this, you can do this because you have done this before at Interstate Championship which was held in June in Chennai. So I knew that okay, just one jump is required and I will be able to do that and I'm really happy to win that. Uh, you are saying that uh, Neera Chopra inspired you a lot. Would you say that in the absence of Neera Chopra, a lot of pressure is on you guys to win medal? Uh, there is no pressure as such, but Neeraj Bhaiya really inspired a lot of athletes like me because uh, I, I shared room with Neeraj Bhaiya last year in Tokyo and when I came back after my bad poor performance at Tokyo, I immediately, like when I opened the door, Neeraj Bhaiya is in front of me. So I didn't tell anything, Bhaiya, as I said, Neeraj Bhaiya said, Bhai, no matter what, this is all in our game. Pe. He gave me a hug, Ishan sir, who is with you, he also gave me a hug, it's all part of the game, no worries. And that time I was really having a very low time, low point of my career because representing your country in the biggest stage and not performing, it really hurts an athlete's morale a lot. But Neeraj Bhaiya and every, all the athletes, they really inspired me a lot. They motivated me a lot. And because of Neeraj Bhaiya and the gold he won last year at Tokyo, the standard of Indian athletics is coming up like anything. We have really good performances from the juniors, from the seniors also. So Indian athletics is on the rise. and. Uh, we are really thankful to Neeraj Bhaiya for starting off a big revolution. Personally, I would just like to ask you, you're a 22-year-old, you're trying to balance studies with sports, you're doing your MSc in statistics. How is that going and how do you plan to carry on your studies with uh, you know, top-level sports? Actually, it's a bit embarrassing uh, when people ask me about my study part right now because I've been doing MSc statistics and honestly, I haven't attended a single day of class so far. I've been able. I've been trying to maintain track of what ha what's happening in the class, but you know, when when it comes to like lot of travels, when it comes to competition, I'm not able to like cope up with both because uh, when it comes to high level sport, we you need to have that kind of focus and that kind of dedication. That every what everything matters, starting with your diet, your rest, your recovery, how much you sleep, how deep you sleep. We have to look a lot of aspects into that. And when I was a student athlete, like I used to stay till one one a.m. two a.m just making up the, uh, the that particular day's work, doing math, doing science, everything. But when it comes to an elite level sport, you have to stop that particular thing for a while and focus on this thing because this year we had Commonwealth Games, World Championships and even Asian Games was planned. So I felt that I should give more importance to my studies and my parents were really supportive. They told me that you finished bachelor's somehow because after Tokyo, I just uh, I immediately finished my bachelor's all the all papers I missed because of the training camps and because of Olympics, I just wrote all the exams in one, one stretch and I finished my bachelor's. And I'm happy that I could get pretty good score in my bachelor's also. And uh, 
now i have joined for statistics i plan to balance both but when it comes to higher level studies also it requires a, another kind of focus so right now i have stopped studies for a while to focus more on sport so target is a golden uh, paris i would say yes uh, with god's grace with all the hard work we are putting in uh, i'm sure that i will be able to get a medal i'm not saying gold but i'll be definitely aiming for a gold because you know winning a medal in athletics is not easy it depends on that particular day because if it, even if you see what's hap- what has happened today 808 808 806 805 mm-hmm. so that close the competition is and you like can favor you any particular day it won't some day and it it's all depends on that particular day but i i really wo- like to work towards that big target no matter what the result is congratulations on this medal enjoy the moment thank you thank you